cold? Uh, it might be as cold as the, the um, rock side. Yeah, that's cold. Yeah? yeah. That's awesome. Really? Shannon, you think you could live here? No. No? Yeah. Pretty cool house, though. Huh? Our holy school house was built in 1925 and used into the 1930s by the eight local children. The Smiths hired a teacher for $30 a month plus room and board and a horse. And this was their school. Couldn't imagine going to school like that. Tough people. A lot of respect to pioneers and people who lived back in those days. It's amazing. And this is a tiny, tiny place. Let's see. We can take a peek in there. I guess that's where the teacher loves to live. She, wow. Uh, I mean, I guess she had a horse and she stayed here and then she went home. I don't know, but either way, gosh. So the water from the spring is coming out through here and I've got ditches running to all these trees, which from what we read up there, Somebody kind of turned this into an orchard at one point, and I could understand why. Love this idea. Look at this. And you've got all these various apple trees, fruit trees here, and the water running out here to be a constant source for them in the middle of a desert. And this is a, this is more of a higher desert, I guess, than it is anything, but. Uh, the drive out here was definitely very deserted. Oh look, this is a cherry tree. Oh, a cherry tree. Does it have cherries on it? It's a cherry tree. No, it's probably not. Probably already bloomed. Golden delicious? Golden oh, delicious? Yes. You're right. Watch your step, because you got these little ditches through you. Peach. Nice. Spitzenberg apple. Joan, and here was the refrigerator. This was the refrigerator. You think we could fit that refrigerator in our house? No? Yeah. This was called a spring house. And it says that the spring water kept this building cool for fruits, vegetables, and dairy products. And I guess on a hot day, it'd be kind of nice to go in there and just sit down for a while, wouldn't it? Yeah. Because it'd be kind of cool. Today, now we are at inside a National Park Visitor Center, Carlsbad Caverns. I see your lips moving. <laughs> yeah, I hate these things. These things, excuse us. And we're getting ready to do, I've been kind of low key excited about this one going down underneath the earth to a caverns. So this is really cool. So let's go check out the caverns. Here's the cave entrance. See a lot of birds flying around. Amphitheater. You can watch bats come out of the cave at dusk. Down, 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 down. It's video. What? How cool. You guys see all these birds? Yeah. Where where do they live? Bats. Yeah. Is that poop? Yeah. I'd say so. Okay. 
Do what? Yeah, it's dropped a lot, hasn't it? They are? Yeah. Okay. Here we are. In the cave. <laughs> and we're showing you all this amazing... Actually, actually, it's really cool. Except you can't see much of anything. There's little lights here and there, but... Oh my gosh, so at the bottom, look. So, here at the bottom of the cave, drink a Powerade, a gift shop, snack bar. This is the life. <laughs> it actually feels really good though. though. Did you read the signs? Yes. What did the signs say? 750. <clears throat> I didn't read the sign. It doesn't get further down. It went a little further down because we came back up to come. So it probably. Yeah. It, it was said between 7 and 900 feet. Right. But I'm sure if you Google, you'll know exactly. Alright, here we are. The sign. And then you level off into the big room. And that's like over a mile loop. It's amazing how big it is. 